then you can calculate how those clock faces kind of evolve and, and change and spin around from the moment the electron's emitted to the moment it hits the screen. And the prescription is very simple. You can calculate what those clock faces look like, what those complex numbers are, and at every point on the screen, you have to take them all, every possible path to that point, and just add them up. And the length of the clock hand gives you the probability to find the electron there. It's actually the squared length of the clock hand, but whatever, it's the length of the hand. That's it. So you can see that you have this property, you can have interference, you can have one clock arriving at 12 o'clock and one clock arriving at six o'clock and they cancel out and so on. You just do that, you calculate it, and you get the right answer. So it's a very, very simple prescription. But I suppose the problem comes when you say, well, what does it mean? Does it really mean? Is this just calculational? Is, is this just mathematics? Or does it really mean that the electron explores every possible route? And by that, I mean every possible route. You, you, you might consider it going to the Andromeda galaxy and back. Right?